Hello everyone. Let's get right into the reading. So whatever the cards want to say, keep in mind I do channel multiple energy groups on here. So this may or may not be for you. Only take it if it resonates. If this does resonate with you, I appreciate comments. Uh, liking the video, it helps me get back in the algorithm. Even just leaving a heart comment. Thank you guys for the support. All right, let's see what's going on. Okay, we got Ten of Swords. Strength. Seven of Wands. Justice. King of Cups. Two of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, okay. I feel like someone just went through a tough karmic lesson. You just had someone just recent or it's still affecting you. I don't know for sure if it was recent or not, but there I see some kind of major betrayal here. Ten of Swords. It's like rock bottom. It's the ultimate ending. There's there's no going back from the Ten of Swords. This took a lot of strength to come through this. So I feel like this could be someone that was using you. Maybe someone that was... Could be like a family member or a friend. Or even a romantic partner that was just using this person. Just using this person. Taking advantage of their generosity. Maybe even like a psychic vampire type. Someone was just using this king or queen of cups here. Someone was just using this person again and again and again. Um, they weren't, this person wasn't setting boundaries with them though. I feel like this person made excuses like, well, oh, they're, they're my mother or they're my sister. I can't say no to them. Or, um, you know, this person, you know, they've been through a lot. I, they've had a hard childhood, so I don't want to say no to them. I don't want to I want to support them. It's like this person was a doormat. This King of Cups was an absolute doormat for this person. Like, I feel like this person just took took them for granted, took advantage of them, just got as much as they could out of them, maybe even used this man or used this woman for money, for emotional support, for... They just drained this person. You know, you have to have boundaries because the takers don't... There's no limit to how much they'll take. You know, people that people that are like that, they will take and take and take. And this is a man or a woman that, you know, you hit rock bottom with this person because they took so much. I don't know if maybe they were expecting um, that at some point their support would change this person or help them or at some point it would be enough. But I feel like they got stuck in this vicious karmic cycle with this person where the more... Uh, it's, like, it's like they just... I think in this this King of Cups mind or this Queen of Cups, I think that I think they thought they were helping this person, but they were actually just enabling this person. So it could be like a someone that borrowed money from them all the time, or someone that just used them, or someone that it's like they just took so much from this King of Cups. And I feel like this King of Cups was trying to be strong and he he or she was thinking, well, well, if I just help them and support them, eventually they'll get back on their feet. Like if it was financial. They thought, you know, eventually they'll they'll use this money for an apartment or to, to you know get situated or get a new job, and they use the money for, for uh, like drugs or just for whatever. Like, or they just didn't they weren't good at at saving their money, or they might have thought if I just keep giving this person emotional mental support, eventually they'll they'll get better. But this person was like addicted to the drama. They, this person loves whoever it was that took advantage of this king or queen of cups. They love playing the victim. They love the drama. They're 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 an energy leech. They will take and take and take. There's no limits. Whatever you'll give, they'll take. And they won't even say thank you most of the time. They will just expect it. They just feel entitled to take from people. Very disgusting leechy energy I pick up from this person. But yeah, I feel like this King of Cups was trying to see the best in everybody. Uh, this King of Cups or Queen of Cups wanted to believe that, um, you know, eventually it would be enough money or enough support or whatever it was that he or she was giving this person that drained them. I think that they had this mentality that like eventually it's going to be enough. Like eventually, um, 
my love is going to help them heal or eventually my support is going to help them, you know, become a better person. Uh, and I think it just ended up being this merry-go-round. It was just this back and forth where it's like before they knew it, they were just absolutely depleted by this person. And it wasn't, it wasn't helping them. It was actually enabling them. They loved the attention. They loved the drama. They loved being able to use this King of Cups as a crutch. They loved that they were able to manipulate him or her and just take and take and take. But I feel like, because I feel like this is for someone where I think this King of Cups now is almost kind of bitter and he's almost like, why did that have to happen? Like, this was my mother. How could she do this to me? Or this was my sister. How could she do this to me? Or this was my... um my friend or my ex like why why did they just take like why it's like someone because this king of cups is more loving he doesn't understand why someone would have that mentality he's like why weren't they he or she is thinking like why wasn't this person just grateful why didn't my help change them someone like this doesn't want to change though someone like this just wants to use others as a crutch they're gonna just it's it's like they just leech off of other people and just drain them and drain them and drain them until there's nothing left. And, you know, that's why I always say it's really important for healers to just try to heal other healers, try to help other people that are actually going to go forward and use that energy. They're going to pay it forward, you know, because when, when you try, when you give all your energy to a really nasty energy leech like this, they're not going to pay it for it. It dies with them. You just give them your energy and that's it. It's it, it dies with them. It's not, it's not going anywhere. And the more you give the more they'll take, they will just leech off of you. You know, it's never, it's never going to be enough for this person. And it's not about, it's not, a, it's not about you. It's about who they are. But if you give something, give what you can afford to give to a healer. If you help a genuine grateful person out, you know, like a genuinely good person, they're, they're actually going to take that support and they are going to do something with it. You know, it's like you, they, that money, they're going to use it. They're going to save it, or they're going to use it towards something or that mental, emotional support. They're going to be grateful for it. It's going to show them that there's good in the world and they're going to want to go out and give that energy back to other people. So it's like you pay it forward. So really be careful who you're giving your energy and your time and attention to. Because people like this love that. They just love it. They're not looking for help. They're just looking for, they just feed off of your energy and attention. So they'll get more and more dramatic. The more, it's it's like this vicious cycle with them. Like the more you try to help them, the, the, it's like they want to be chased. You know, so the more you try to help this person, the more they'll, they'll act out and they'll cause drama and they'll... Um, how do I explain this energy? Like, just like kind of play the victim, you know what I mean? Because they're, they're loving that. They're, they're sucking you dry. They're loving that energy and attention that you're giving them. So they won't, they won't say thank you. They won't be thankful for, for your support. They'll just, you know, they'll, they'll keep on draining you. And so you think you're close to getting through to them. And I think this is what, what happened. I think this, this King of Cups thought any day now my love is going to change them or the money I've, gonna ch I've given them is going to go towards something positive or any day now there's going to be a change and there just wasn't. And eventually he had to hit rock bottom. And now he's almost bitter and almost like almost over overprotective of himself, you know, because he has to be strong now when naturally he's a King of Cups. Naturally, he's very giving, um, very selfless. And now he's he's almost like upset about being that person. So I think your spirit guides are saying like, because like, he's not understanding why that had to happen. And again, it was what I was talking about where it's like healers need to help other healers heal because there's there's a lot of healers that are very broken, very damaged, and they need healing. The psychic vampire pieces of shit like this that just, you know, just want to use people. They just see people as objects that are just there for their disposal. They're not going to help anybody. But there's a lot of broken healers out there. There's a lot of damaged healers that actually do need that support and they do need the assistance. And it actually does go towards something positive. When you help someone like that, they're actually going to pay it forward. So this this man needs to learn to use discernment about who he's giving his energy to. Um, I think he was a little bit delusional. He needed to see reality. He needed to see the energy exchange, what was really going on here, because he didn't want to see that. He wanted to see the best in this person, maybe because they're related or because it's someone he's known in childhood or something like that. 
but he wanted to see the best in this person and so he he ignored what was going on and then eventually it ended up being a very tough karmic lesson for him where he hit rock bottom and now he has to be strong and he has to kind of pick up the pieces on his own and, and go forward um, but there's justice here this had to happen. This this was a tough karmic lesson because he wasn't learning the easy way. He saw over and over again, his spirit guide showed him this person's true colors. They showed him whether it was a relative, a friend, a lover, whoever it was to him or to her. They showed this king or queen of cups what this person was all about, that they will just use them again and again and again. And this, this king of cups was very naive and he kept giving to them anyway, even when he saw their true colors, even when he knew what kind of person they were deep down. He didn't want to see it. He didn't want to believe that about this person. So he put the blindfold back on. And now the ton of swords has come up where he's hit rock bottom with this person. Um, and there's no going back. There's no unseeing it because he was refusing to see it before. And, and now he's being forced to see it. This person has done something to betray him, or there's just something that there's no turning back from. Like he's finally realized who this person is. He's finally, it's, it's like rock bottom for him, but it was a karmic lesson that he had to learn because he wasn't, um, he was giving too much to the wrong people. It, it's like you want to give, but you want to give to the right people and you want to give what you can afford to give. You don't want to just give and give and give to the, to all the wrong people and giving more than you even have to offer, you know, like you, this man needs to learn to be, have stronger boundaries because a lot of empaths end up being a lot of narcissists were once empathic, but they, you know, empaths, it's, it's like, like I said, there's a lot of wounded healers out there that need healing, you know, because if, if an empath just gives and gives and gives, eventually they become bitter, they become angry and they did, they take on those same traits of, of the narcissist that they were trying to help heal. So the healers need to be, you know, more mindful of their energy. They need to be more protective of their energy. And this was this tough karmic lesson that, that he or she had to learn to stand their ground, to set strong boundaries, to, to be stronger, to not be na naive, not be delusional, to be honest with themselves, to look at reality and, and look at the red flags and protect themselves, be, be more confident, be more mindful of the energy they're giving out, be, be more protective of their space, of their... This person could have let this person into their home and maybe they, they used them and took advantage and now they're having to kick this person out of their home. Could be something like that too, where it's like, you got to come get your stuff now, you know? But, um, but yeah, this was, this wasn't, cause I feel like this man is kind of upset now. He's like, why the hell did this happen? And it's like, well, it had to happen that way because you weren't learning the karmic lesson easily. You had so many chances to, this man had so, I feel like, like all these 10 swords, it was like one sword. And then it was, I, I don't, I don't even know if it, if they all came in at once, it might've just been one sword here. And then a week or two later, another sword, a month later, a third sword, two months later, a fourth sword. This man saw again and again, his spirit guides made sure this, this man or woman saw this person's true colors that he, he or she saw that this person was a, a user that this person was a kind of like an energy leech, a, a victim, a dr dramatic, you know, like this person can't play dumb. This person knew they just didn't want to know. They chose to be in the dark. They chose to put the blindfold on and, and play dumb and try to be naive because they didn't want to see it. And eventually all these swords built up till it was 10 swords and they, this, this King of Cups hit rock bottom. And now he or she is like, I, I can't like, they just can't take any more of this person. They're done. But you know what? He or she could have left at any time. After the third sword, you could have, this person could have left. You had, you know what I mean? Like, he can't sit here and be like, oh, I don't know how this happened. Like, no, you knew because you felt each one of those swords go into your back. You knew what was going on. You just didn't want to know. You didn't want to deal with it. You wanted to sweep it under the rug. You wanted it to be easier. You wanted to believe in this person, even though your spirit guides were showing you this person's true colors. But you, you can't say that you were left in the dark because you chose, you, you put yourself in the dark. It's like this man is now feeling like, wow, I was left in the dark. Like, why didn't my spirit guides have my back? Your spirit guides did have your back. This, this man or woman was putting themselves in the dark and, and their spirit guides were trying to bring them to the light and say, hey, look at these swords this person is putting in you. And this king or queen of cups was like, no, I'm going back to the dark. I don't want to see this. I don't want to deal with this. It's too much. It's too too painful, too much drama, too, too much whatever. 
But but yeah, the reality is this King of Cups, you know, you had the option at any point. Any one of these swords that came through, you could have left. You could have been honest with yourself, taken off the blindfold and been like, you know what, I'm done. I'm not doing this. I'm walking away. I'm walking away with my integrity intact. I'm walking away before this person, you know, before I waste any more time or energy or effort on this person. I'm walking away. I'm protecting myself. But but no, you didn't. This King of Cups didn't do that. He waited until the, until there was 10 swords in his back or in her back. So your spirit guides are pretty your spirit guides are calling you out. Your spirit guides are pretty much coming through and saying, "Hey, don't blame us." Don't blame us because this king of cups are, you might be like mad at them right now. He might be mad. He or she might be mad at his spirit, at their spirit guides or like praying to their spirit guides and saying, why did you let this happen? Why did that, you know, why this, why that? And it's like, dude, this was all on you. This was all your, your free will, your decision. You did this to yourself. You decided to stay. Your spirit guides didn't want this for you. You, you chose you chose to learn the hard way because after that third or fourth sword, he could have walked away and he could have learned the karmic lesson easily. He could have been like, okay, I'm being used. I'm going to, I'm going to nip this in the bud right now. And I'm going to be strong and have integrity and stand my ground and set boundaries. I'm not going to let this go on any further, but so he's still learning the same karmic lesson. He was meant to learn here, but he had to learn it in a much harsher way. Um, or she did. Where it's like, yeah, now it's like there's 10 swords and now it's like, you know, the karmic lesson is, again, being strong and, and setting your boundaries, not giving to people like this, not just letting people drain you. It's not saying become bitter and just hate everybody, but it's it's like finding that balance because I feel like this King of Cups was so unbalanced. He would just give to everybody. He wouldn't he wouldn't be mindful. He would give more than he could afford to give, whether it was money, resources, time, energy, attention, affection, whatever it was. He, he was giving himself to all these different different beings, different different places or whatever. And he was giving way too much. He or she was giving way too much of themselves. And, and again, not even giving to the right people, not even giving to people that will genuinely appreciate it and use that energy for the right reasons. He was giving it to people who it's like the energy dies with them because they're so selfish. They're not going to pay that forward. They're just going to it, it's like it's not going anywhere you know what I mean you're just you're just helping a psychic vampire and all that does too it also hurts other empathic people because then they get it in their head that empaths are easy targets so once they're done using you and draining you they go to the next empath and they drain them as well and they play the same games they're like oh the, these games worked on this empath I bet they'll work on this other empath as well it, it's like you're not you're not doing them any favors. You're hurting other people in the process when you enable a psychic vampire leech type like this. So, yeah, this man had to learn the hard way how to be strong and set boundaries for himself, how to how to still be the king of cups. Like so, you know, your spirit guides don't want you to shut your heart out. They don't want you to close off to who you are. They want you to be this king of cups. They want you to be you know, your, your emotional romantic self. They want you to be open hearted. They want you to be kind and giving and loyal and just, they want you to be all the things that you are. They want you to be those things, but they want you to protect yourself, protect your energy at the same time and not give so much to the wrong people, you know, be mindful of who you're giving to. And again, don't give more than you can afford to give really set your boundaries, really be aware when you're being drained and when you just need to give to yourself. Don't be naive, you know, really have stronger boundaries here and protect this King of Cups energy, protect, be open hearted, but protect your heart at the same time from the wrong people and the wrong situations. So you don't become bitter over time. So this man had to learn to become a King of Pentacles. He had to go through this tough karmic lesson. Um, basically to learn how to balance how to be emotional and romantic and and you know giving and loyal and kind and all the things that he is but also being strong and logical and um stable and practicing self-care at the same time he had to this this karmic lesson was about getting him in touch with this king of pentacles side of himself and, and balancing these personality aspects it's like he was going too far to one extreme so he had to be balanced out um, anyway, I hope this resonates for someone. I'm going to put this out there. Thank you guys for watching.